Whether you're finishing up your Thanksgiving grocery run or just getting started, you may have noticed some things missing from the shelves. 8 News reporter Olivia J. Quith breaks down what you need to know when you head to the market and where you may feel the impacts the most. Olivia. Well, Eric, as you go to fill up that grocery cart, you might notice there are some stores restricting how much of one thing you can buy. At Publix, for example, they're limiting customers to just two of certain holiday favorites like canned cranberry sauce, gravy, napkins, and even pie fillings. But keep in mind, Publix is not the only store in our area that's doing this. Stalls are emptier, and it's getting harder to find specific things. Everybody wants to go buy everything as quick as they can. This holiday season, the supply chain issues continue, impacting grocery store shelves. With Thanksgiving just days away, Publix put purchase limits on some of its items, such as napkins, cranberry sauce, and canola oil. I got a few extra people coming I didn't know about, so got to go back to the store and hopefully get everything we need. But it's not just Publix. Chesterfield County resident Crystal Fisher says she does most of her shopping at Food Lion, where she says it took her four months to find one of the canned items she was looking for. And while Food Lion has not told 8 News whether they've instituted or plan to institute purchase limits, the challenges remain. Having to come up with maybe new recipes or trying stuff that we've never eaten before because it's kind of like that's all you can get. If it's not there, you can't get it. In an effort to combat some of the shortages you might be seeing in your market, other grocers like Kroger have a limit of one sale priced turkey per customer. And with Hanukkah, Christmas, and New Year's just around the corner, the question remains how long will this last? I feel like it's gotten worse. So, probably the last few months has, has really kicked in to make you realize that the stuff is not coming back. Now, spokespersons for Kroger and Publix tell me that there's no current timeline as to just how long these purchase limits will last. Kroger saying that this is not meant to be an ongoing thing here, but the, the situation is ever changing. Meanwhile, I spoke with a spokesperson for Wegmans as well. They're telling me at this time, no plans to institute purchasing limits in those stores. Live in the city of Richmond tonight, Olivia Jaquith, 8 News.